Hey guys, Georgia Soundtracks here. This week we're going to show you a little bit more about how the lights work and how you can dim or adjust the brilliance of the lights. So let's get started. Now on this locomotive here on the table in front of me, I have three lighting outputs on the front of the locomotive. The headlight, then I have the number boards wired to the FX3 output, and then I have the Mars light wired to the FX4 lighting output. Now by default, these are turned on with the function zero in the forward direction, as is the headlight. Function 24 turns on the FX3 lights, which are our number boards. And then function 25 turns on the FX4 lighting output. So to do this, we're going to show you how we can adjust the brilliance for all of these. So we're going to go ahead and we have our headlight turned on. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our number boards. And then the Mars light, I've already set that to a Mars light. So you'll see the Mars light effect playing on the locomotive or displayed. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the number boards. Now, the number boards, if you look closely, you'll see that those things are pretty bright, almost as if they're separate headlights coming down the track. Now, one of the features that we have at Soundtracks in our Tsunami 2 decoders is the ability to set a light as an on-off and dim, so that way you can adjust the brilliance yourself using CVs. So to start with, I'm going to take CV51, which is our lighting effect, for the FX3 lighting output. I'm gonna set that to on off brilliance one with LEDs enabled. And what LED does is it LED compensation changes the way that the lighting effect is sent through the wire so that the light or the LED will appear more animated because light bulbs and LEDs have different illuminating capabilities. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take CV51 right now and we're gonna set this to a value of 147, which is 19 for on-off brilliance one, plus 128 for the LED compensation. So now you'll notice that my lights on the number boards are now a little bit dimmer. Now the cool thing is, is I can take CV61 and I can adjust the brilliance of this light. So right now I believe it's set at 128, which is about half brilliance. So if I take these down to 50, you can see how those lights dimmed quite a bit. Now if I want to make them brighter, I can take CV61 and I can set it to a value of 200 so you can see how much brighter they've gotten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down to a value of 70. So we're going to take CV61, set it to a value of 70 so you can see that those lights are dim so they look a little bit more realistic. Now one of the other features we have in the decoder is what's called a master brilliance. And master brilliance is set in CV64. And this again has a value range of 0 to 255. Now what this does is this will adjust the brilliance of all of the lights together evenly as you've set them. So that way you can adjust the, the brilliance for yourself. Uh, some of the new micro LEDs are super bright and some people love it, some people think they're too bright. This gives you the ability to make those adjustments for yourself. So now on my locomotive here, I'm gonna take CV64 and I'm gonna set that to a value of 100. Now all of the lighting effects are on, so when I change the CV, you can see how they've all changed brilliance. Now my master brilliance adjusts all of the lights together. Now you'll notice that my number boards are now significantly dimmer. So if I want to change those again and make them brighter, I can go back and adjust CV61 and we're going to set it to a value of 120. So now you can see how those lights have gotten brighter, but the other lights are still dim. So you can adjust CV64 to your heart's content. You can take it all the way up to 255 or you can adjust it all the way down. Just know that at some point those LEDs may extinguish. So for example, my Mars light effect, when I change CV64 down to a value of 50, you may not see that brilliant pop like you're expecting. So adjust this value of this CV up or down as you see fit so that that way you can accommodate your railroad's lighting effects. Now for more information, please visit our website at soundtracks.com and be sure to check out the user's guide for more information on this and all the other cool things that we've built into the Tsunami 2.